it is an honor to be here with all of you to celebrate an event that marked the end of one of the darkest yet one of the most significant eras in Fijian history. The transport of the indentured laborers from British India hundred years ago. The legacy of those indentured laborers, the Girmitiyas, can be seen throughout Fijian society to this day. That legacy has made Fiji the proud nation it is today. Because despite the immense adversity faced by the Girmitiyas, they forged new lives for themselves in Fiji and ultimately overcame their struggle. The Girmitiyas' contribution to this nation began the very day they set foot in Fiji. Building roads, clearing land, and harvesting sugarcane. The success of Fiji's colonial economy depended heavily on their sweat, their effort, and their talents. Here in Nasori, it is wonderful to see so many Fijians here to celebrate this important event. As we all know, the history of the Girmitiyas is also the history of Nasori. Many Fijians today don't realize that Nasori was actually the main center of the sugarcane industry when it first started in the later part of the 19th century. And in fact, you can still see the remains of the first sugar mill not far from here. So there were sugarcane fields dotted all over the river delta until it, were, it was clear that the cane grew better in the drier parts of Viti Levu in the west. To walk those fields, a great many of the Grimitias who were sent to Fiji were sent to the Nasori area starting in 1881. And today, we remember with gratitude the contribution that they made and their descendants have made to the development of the town and centers and region. While the mill in Nasori ceased operating in the early 1960s and the cane fields started to become used for other means, many of the descendants of the Girmetiers stayed on and they still play a large role in the community as well as in keeping the Girmit legacy alive. As you know, the Girmit ship, the Syria, capsized on Nasalai Reef in May 18 and 1884 with the loss of 56 Girmetiers. Many more would have died but for an operation to rescue the survivors. As you also know, the memories of this tragedy live on through the Syria monument and Syria park. And the Girmit legacy has been celebrated locally for the 125th anniversary of the arrival of the Girmitias in 2004 and the 130th anniversary in 2009. I wish to pay a special tribute to the local committee and to the local figures like Mr. Sutlej Harigyan Somalia for keeping the Girmit legacy alive. In villages, towns and cities all across Fiji, we can still see the stories of the Girmitias all around us. Those stories are part of the story of Fiji. And that is why these celebrations are being held nationwide in recognition of the nationwide impact that the Girmitias have had on our country. The accounts recorded by Girmitias in Fiji tell us much about their suffering, but words alone can never fully capture 
the emotion and the pain they experience. So much so, what makes our lives fulfilling and enjoyable is found in our relationship, our families, our friends, and our communities. To lose that, to be forced to live and walk in isolation would cause any one of us unfold suffering. When this government in 2013 declared us all Fijians equal and united as one nation and one people, it was a realization of the hopes and dreams of hundreds of thousands of direct descendants of the Kermitias. While many of your ancestors had never heard of Fiji prior to their arrival, in that moment, this nation truly became your home and it will remain so for all time. The journey has been long, too long, and not without difficulty. But here, we all stand more united than ever before and all committed to taking Fiji into future. It is not the duty of any one community to remember the sacrifice and the suffering that led up to this. We must all remember, we must all reflect, and we must all uphold the legacy of the Girmitias. In the same way they strove to build better lives for their descendants, we must strive to leave behind a nation that is better than what we inherited. I would like to echo the announcement by His Excellency the President in his statement at the celebration held in Suva earlier this week and in 2020 for the 100th year anniversary of the end of the indentured system we will be holding special celebrations throughout Fiji to mark the end of the indenture system. My fellow Fijians, it is an emotional day for all of us as we remember past trauma and look back on our history. But it is also a day for celebration on how far we have come. Let us all give thanks for the Girmitias and their descendants. And let us all try and live up to the examples of perseverance and determination and that displayed despite trying circumstances. Vinaka, Vakalevu and Dhanewak.